I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your kettlebell hit workout. In this workout, we're gonna be getting the heart rate up, burning the fat, and toning and strengthening those muscles. All you need for this workout is a kettlebell. If you have more than one, great. There'll be some things that you can switch off with to heavier or lighter. If you got one, that's fine too. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay guys, so just to get started, we're gonna get a quick little warm up. Roll through those shoulders, get those feet moving. We'll just get the blood flowing. We're gonna make it quick, but if you need more of a warm up, certainly get it on your own. We're gonna go flat back down, just roll it through, round it up, especially when we get to those swings. Really wanna make sure that our back is warm and ready to go. One more right here and just hold it underneath and just do a couple little twists, shoulder going forward, rolling through the back, and then bring it up, and then just some little torso rotations, side to side, just moving in the hips and the torso, and then reach across, stretch long through the fingertips. Again, I promise we're keeping this short. Nobody likes warming up, but it is important. Stretch it over dynamic warm-up. We're just getting everything moving, everything working. And then let's do just a couple quick little lunges back. You don't have to get super deep, but we're just opening up the hip flexor, stretching out those legs. Just four, three, two, and one. Good. Just some arm swings across. Go. And up and down. All right, we're ready. So grab your kettlebell, bend your knees to do it. And also, just as a little part of a warm-up, we're gonna start with that around the world. So maybe you've done it before. You're just switching off the kettlebell from hand to hand, going one side. So I love this exercise because it does get you warm, get your core ready to go, but you also should feel your abs working and heart rate getting up a little as well. Don't worry about how fast you go. Make sure that you've got a good grip before you hand it off, and then let's switch your direction. So other way. So there's one side that's a little easier, especially if you get a mic pack in your back. Just gotta make sure you get around that. There we go, around the world. Nice and light. Two and one. All right, so grab that kettlebell. We're gonna hold it up by the horns. So if this feels like too much, you certainly can bring it down to one side. But if you can, we're gonna hold it here, right leg forward, we're gonna step it back with the left into a lunge. So step it back and bring it up. So what we're doing, we're forcing those biceps to work the whole time and your chest and your shoulders by just holding it here. Again, if that feels like too much, you can drop it down to the side. But if you can, keep it here. And then let's add a little twist. So if our right knee's in the front, twist to the right. So just make sure you're twisting which over whichever knee is in the front. I'm moving down by my hip, really working those obliques. Breathe, getting low. Make sure you're still dropping low in that lunge. And breathe. Heart rate should be getting up. That's our high intensity interval training. Breathe. Excellent, guys. Almost there. Keep twisting. Four, whew, three, two, and then hold it down in that lunge. Drop the kettlebell in one hand. And we're just going to hand it off. So you're doing a little pulse in the lunge. And then the kettlebell, as you can tell, is making you a little bit off balance. It's swinging side to side underneath the leg, making it hard. Four, Three, two, relax, good. So you should feel a little wobbly on that stuff and your heart rate should be getting up. So let's keep it in that right hand. Let's go to that windmill. So we're here, hand is up, drop it down, down the leg, push up. So remember we're pushing off this back leg, keeping that arm as straight as we can. Kettlebell goes down by the side, in front of the foot. So we love this because you get a little bit of a stretch, kind of like that triangle stretch from yoga, but it's a lot of work for the obliques and for all those stabilizing muscles. And breathe. Keep 
keep it going. Here we go. Make sure that you're not bending in the knees or bending the hips. Nice and straight. Breathe. Good. Walking up. And relax. Awesome, guys. So let's do all that on the other side. So left foot forward. Get the heart rate back up for those intervals. Holding at your chest if you can. Stepping back right. Bring it up. Holding it here. So you've got this at your chest. Just make sure that you're not letting that weight pull you forward. Really roll those shoulders back. Drop it low in the lunge. And breathe. Keep it up on that chest. Elbows in tight. Let's add that little twist. So twist over the knee that's in the front. So for most of us, left knee, twist, center. Again, it's gonna throw your balance. That's what we want. We want those abs to have to work hard. And breathe. Low, push off. Whew. So you're feeling a little wobbly on that twist. You're doing it right. Here we go, heart's pumping. Burning that fat while we get strong. Woo! Breathe. Push off and in. So also you can tell we're sneaking in a little mini bicep curl. Four. Bring it up. Three. Whew. Two. And one. Hold it here. Let's hand it off. So push into that front heel, a little pulse in the lunge. You're just handing off the kettlebell underneath. So it's pulling the balance side to side. Breathe. Woo! Burning the mat leg. Four, three, two, and relax. Good. Tap it down. Let's take it in that left side. Right arm up on the inside. Windmill. Here we go. Drop it low. So we're using this as our interval to take our heart rate down a bit. But it should stay pumping. Reach and bring it up. Concentrate on that form. As we get tired, you have to really focus. Breathe. And bring it up. Last four, just like this. Four. Three. And breathe. Two. One more. And relax. So I want you to flip your kettlebell over. So we've got the bell part here. So it's heavy, but you can do it. We're gonna do what's called a crush curl. So we're curling here to here. Make sure you have a good grip. You need to grab those horns a bit. That's okay too. And we're gonna squeeze in tight as if I'm trying to push my hand through the bell. So I'm going here, squeeze. I'm trying to maintain that squeeze the whole time while I do that curl. So, by all means, if you don't feel okay with this grip, grab it here. You can do the same thing here. Just keep pushing in, or you can go back to that regular curl that we've done from the horns here. Either way, just push in to the center, and that's really going to make sure that, that the biceps are working and the chest squeeze. Let's add a little knee raise. Again, make sure you have a good grip. Breathe. Four more. It's amazing how that little squeeze really makes everything harder. Two, one more. Perfect, relax. Bring that down, okay. So, let's take it into kettlebell swings. Classic exercise. You don't know the swing, you wanna to refer to my video, how to do a kettlebell swing. It breaks it down a lot slower, but if you're good, let's go ahead and take it here. Shoulders back. Go deadlift forward, prep it a couple times, then power it up. Remember, it's a hitch, it's a hinge at the hips. Hips go back, power it up. We're not worried, this is your traditional swing, not your American version. We're not worried about getting that kettlebell high or over the head. That can get a little risky, especially if you're not used to this motion. We just wanna power, hips go back, power it up. Squeeze in the glutes, Squeeze in the back, squeeze in the abs. Here we go, five seconds. And let it relax. Good guys, so breathe. I was talking a lot through that, but hopefully I still maintain my form. I'm really careful on those swings that we're thinking about all the different parts. So, 
Let's take it here. So we're gonna move to a right hand, clean and press. So it's kind of like a little mini swing. Rack it up in that rack position and then power it up into a press. So each different part, you're using momentum. So here, 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 bring it down. Swing, rack, power it up. So it's just kind of like a mini squat to really get it up in that rack position. And then you get the power all the way up. You got it. Up, nice and tall. So we're using momentum. So I don't have to be that strong in my shoulders. This is heavy for a shoulder press. But with the clean, I can do it from the momentum. Two more right here. Here, here. Last one. Yes, good, relax, tab it out. So many different variations on the clean. That's just one, clean and press. Let's go ahead and get that other side. As you can tell, it gets your heart rate up because you're using momentum to use all the different parts. Here we go. Other arm right here, here. Power it up, left arm, you can do it. Yes, make sure it gets in that full racked position before you're up. And power, good. Excellent, good guys. If you wanna just do the first part of it, just do the clean, that's okay. And breathe. Good, last two. Power it up. And one more, here we go. And up, relax, tap it out. Those are tough guys, you did great. Let's go back to that swing. Now that heart's pumping, you can do it. Shoulder blades back, hinge at the hips. A little deadlift motion, prep it back, and power it up. Here we go. Breathe out. So our breath really helps us get that rhythm up. Let it drop. There we go. Breathe. We'll go a couple more. Keep breathing. Squeeze. Four. Three, two, relax, good, and breathe. Excellent work, guys. Whoo, awesome. So tap it out. This time, last time with swings, we're gonna switch off. So we're gonna go from right to left. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you don't feel like you've mastered the two-handed swing, keep it with the two-handed. But if you can, we're gonna start right, watch me. Power it up, thumb goes in, elbow out. Power, hand it off. Same motion, get those hips back. Power up through the hips, and you're just handing off at the top. Again, if you don't feel like you have a good grip, or you're not comfortable with this, keep it with the two-handed. You're still getting the work. I can feel my back dropping on that. I'm gonna keep those eyes up, even though we're dropping the chest, flat back. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relax, breathe. So you can tell, as you start to get tired, you start to feel things drop a little bit. Really make sure that you're pulling everything in. You're focusing on every swing, even though they're quick. Great job, guys. All right, so holding it here, let's take the kettlebell down. Let's give ourselves a little cardio interval. Cardio, also strength. You know, I'm always getting them together. So you get a little break from the kettlebell. Let's do a burpee down and bring it up. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options. So let's go here. You can just do burpee out and bring it up. You can add the jump. Or if you want, all the way down, push it up, bring it in. So you just got that kettlebell as a guide. If you wanna push it out of the way, totally fine too. Here we go, take it down, bring it up. Here and up. If you want a modification, if you need lower impact, just step it back and bring it up. Totally fine. You can add the push up too and bring it in and bring it up. Here we go, guys. This is just to get the heart rate up. Whew. Watch that mic pack if you got them. Always an issue. Here we go. Breathe. 
Last one right here. And bring it up, good, tap it out. Just for heart rate, also strength. And to give your hands a break from that kettlebell. All right guys, so bend down, grab it again. So toes out, plie squat. I've got it in my right hand. I'm gonna drop in the plie, drop my chest, pull it up in the row, and then power it up. Watch my back from here. Down, flat back, row, squeeze it up. Down, so I'm dropping my chest forward, but keeping my back flat. Sort of like a plie dead with, deadlift. Squeeze everything up. Pull that shoulder blade close by your side. Breathe. This hand out just helps keep that back flat. Here we go. Breathe, power it up. Squeeze. And breathe. Excellent, guys. Four more right here. Four. And up. Three. Flat back, strong row. Two. One more. And relax, tap it out. So grab that kettlebell, bring it up. So we're gonna take it in a halo, going around the head. You may have done this before, but we're gonna add some triceps. So we're here, I'm going around, triceps, and then finish the motion. So you go around, triceps, and bring it through. So you may have to watch that ponytail like me. Our basic halo goes all the way around, and we get lots of abs and arms. We're adding tries. Here we go, bring it up. Triceps. Whew. Around, back stays flat. Two more this way, and up. Last one. And breathe, good guys. Tab it out. So let's put it down. And this time, a little cardio interval. Let's take it speed skaters. Drop. Don't worry, we're gonna get that other side on both of those. So tap and touch. It's forcing you to get really low. These are our high intensity intervals. Whew, hopefully you're sweating like me. I know those legs are tired. Get, lit, get low. Whew. Breathe. We'll go four. Good guys, you got this. Two. Grab that kettlebell again. Toes out, plie, flat back row. Here we go. Down, bring it up, and up. Looks like this again. Flat, pull it in the row, squeeze everything up. And squeeze. Good. So you can feel that all through those inner thighs and glutes that already work so hard on those swings. Breathe, and up. Here we go, four more right here. Squeeze, I lied. Eight more, gonna make it consistent with the other side. Now four more, here we go. Four, squeeze, three, Whew. two, last one. So halo, going the other direction. So we went this way, we're going the other way. So grab it here, take it around the head, elbows in, triceps, and bring it around. So you should feel the sides of your core working hard on that halo, not arching in the back, just little twists through the core. Here we go. And breathe, almost there. Three more, just like this. Halo, elbows in, try. That's two. And one more. Yes. And relax, tap it out. All right, guys, almost time to move it to the mat. So last thing from here. We're gonna go goblet squat, rotational press. Grab it by your horns. Watch me, goblet squat, you know it. We're gonna get super low. Lower than your hips, power it up, press and rotate. 
low, powered up, low, powered up. Get low in those hips, not in the back. Push, push, little rotation. You're kind of coming up on that toe as you rotate. Big push for heart rate, big push for legs. Push for arms, you can do it. Woo! Here we go. Four, push, three, keep getting low. Two, one more. Woo! Relax. Good work, team. Grab a quick sip of water. Let's take it down to the mat. Woo! Okay, we're down on the mat with our kettlebell. So we're gonna start, grab it in the center. We're gonna start with that little Russian twist. So tap it down, bring it up. So with that kettlebell as much as you can, I know it's tempting just to go here to here, but if it doesn't bother your back, really touch it, bring it up. So your arms work harder, abs work harder. If you can, bring those knees up. There you go. Twist, twist. If that bothers your back, keep those feet down or drop the kettlebell completely. You can do the same motion with no weight, especially if you have one of the heavier kettlebells. Bring it up. This would be a time that if you had a lighter kettlebell, might be good to switch to that, but totally up to you. Do what's best for you. Four, three, two, relax. Good, drop it over the knees, get a little stretch. All right guys, bring it all the way down. So let's go to a little chest press with a crunch. So my feet are straight up. I'm gonna press, crunch, down, down. Lift, lift, lower, lower. My elbows are in tight, so it's chest, arms, triceps, shoulders. If you feel like you're pulling too much for your neck, you can either just do the press, just lift and lower, or just do the crunch. Totally up to you if you want to take the arms out of it. Keep it going if you can. Press, lift, down, down. And let's go two more. Last one. And relax. Good, guys. Breathe. So let's stay here. Let's bring it up into those triceps. So take it down, lift up in the bridge. You've done this motion a lot. We're just doing it with the kettlebell and bridge. So we get hamstrings and glutes. Again, make sure you have a good grip on that kettlebell. If you don't feel like you do, you can switch to something else, dumbbells or no weight, just do the bridge. Squeeze. Four more right here. Four, extend, three, two, and one, good guys, drop it to the side. Let's give yourselves a little break from that. Full crunch, lift the shoulders, lift the hips. Everything in, everything out. Breathe, just up and down, knees come into the chest, hips go off the ground if you can, and shoulders coming up. Four more right here, four, back is flat, three, two, and one, relax, stretch it back. Whew. All right, guys, so let's take it here in the center. So if you can, I'm gonna do a full sit up with a press, slowly down. That might feel like a lot, so if you just wanna go up without the press or with no weight, totally fine. But if you can, power it up, full. Slow, 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 so you're getting a lot of work on your way down, so really take your time with it. Pull those abs in, belly button in, breathe. Remember, you can always just do the lift or take the weight out completely. Breathe. Two more right here. Two. And last one. And relax. Good. All the way down. One more thing from here. Let's just hold the kettlebell up. You don't have to do anything with it. And let's just go scissors. One leg down and up. Nice and slow. And breathe. And you 
can take them a little lower. That feels okay on the back. A little higher. If you feel like you're straining in that back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then let's cross them over and under. I know they're tired. Keep them high. If you feel pulling that back, drop them low if you can. Just stabilizing with that kettlebell. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Drop it down to the side. Little stretch. Whoo! Awesome work, guys. So let's turn over into your plank position. We're so close. Kettlebell right in the center. Hands on either side and just bring the knees in one at a time. Right close to that kettlebell, as close as you can. The further we get those knees in, the more of that ab crunch we can get. Breathe, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax, stretch it out. Whoo. And one more from here. You know I love it. Let's take them across. So opposite side of the kettlebell. As far in as you can get. Knee to elbow. So close. Breathe. Four, three, two, relax. Drop it down, stretch it back. Woo, put that kettlebell out of the way. Stretch back, reach those hands forward. And breathe. And then come all the way down flat. Up on the elbows, stretch out those abs. Whew. If it doesn't bother your back or your wrist, you can come all the way up and just gently look side to side. So everything working, all the muscles and that heart pumping the whole time with those intervals. All the way down, one foot in, grab if you can, tilt your hip into the mat, and breathe. Other side. And then take it back. Let's sit forward. Reach the arm across. Roll through. And other side. your kettlebell hit workout. Great job, everybody.